What's going on everyone? It's time to talk about another interesting film. Um, so I decided I'm going to do, I have about like 12 like films that used to be considered taboo in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. So they're all like black and white and cheesy and stuff like that. So I want to check so, those out. So today we're going to talk about the first one I've watched. And that's Reefer Madness. Really sometime in 1936. Starring Kenneth Craig, Dorothy Short, and Kara... Carlton Young, oh Carlton Young, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, it's produced by Dwayne Esper and George Herleman, and directed by Louis J. Gass Gassner, who's done other films like The Exploits of Elaine, Kismet, Lost at Sea, The New Exploits of Elaine, and a whole pile of others. He has like fifty films to his name. He was the he done quite a few exploitation films and stuff like that. So Reefer Madness is basically a film to sort of like scare the younger teen and young adults into not smoking marijuana and trying to show like what they believe the effects were in 1936. So, um, yeah, it's really cheesy. But basically you follow, um, there's like this small town and then they're getting concerned because a lot of the young teens like smoking marijuana, getting stoned and uh, causing problems. So... Um, and it all hinders on this one court case where they talk to a doctor and he talks about the effects, which is not realistic, really. <laughs> um, if you smoke marijuana, you'd find this really hilarious and stuff like that, which I have before. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so it shows you, like, the teens smoking and, uh, having a good time and, like, getting their first lay and, like enjoying themselves and stuff like that, partying and having fun. And, um, yeah, some of them cause a little more mischief than others and stuff like that. And the parents don't know what to do. So, um, this doctor's called in basically, and he basically tries to prove that what happens throughout the film is, is the result of marijuana. And it's really cheesy because this is basically a thriller. So for the first half, you're, hanging out with the young ki kids in the story and stuff like that you know, like smoking up and stuff and uh just having a good time and then you go into like hit the adults and the doctor trying to prove it so what happens is one of the guy's girlfriends is like uh another guy's like trying to like get her and stuff like that and he basically goes and uh assaults the guy a bit and a gun's pulled and they fire now it's also this film's also really well known for inventing the magic bullet so basically they shoot a gun the, the gun shoots into the floor but then somehow apparently ricochets off the floor goes up into the air and then does a 180 and lands in the girl's back on the couch, which is way over on the opposite end of the room, in the opposite direction of where the gun was shot. And uh, apparently that was the result of marijuana. But yeah. And also, there is one... Like, the acting in this film is pretty good. The story is pretty cheesy and stuff like that. But it's like an exploit to um, scare young kids into not doing drugs, basically. And uh, But there's one big problem with that. And that's... I don't know what marijuana these guys are smoking, but when they smoke up, they get a lot of energy. It's like they're running around, acting crazy, dancing, and just like smoking, puffing, having a good time, where most of the time it's the opposite effect of that. So, yeah, they kind of, you can tell it was made by people who's never actually smoked marijuana before. <laughs> and uh, therefore, basically, everything is just made up as they went along and stuff like that it does have like a little cheapy feel to it too because it was like a lower budget film back in the day and uh yeah but it, it was an entertaining fun time it's an unintentional stoner comedy i think now <laughs> um but yeah for but when it came out it was like basically a thriller and um yeah it was really amusing to watch and how ridiculous it got and stuff and it's a lot um, apparently made a way around theaters in like the 70s and stuff like that and kept going around because of gaining quite the cult following and stuff so it's a cool little film you should check out if you haven't seen it it is in black and white so i know half the people probably nowadays won't even check it out because it's in black and white sadly but hopefully a lot of people do because it's uh hidden so bad it's good gem like uh i'm gonna give this one just a three out of five just based on like what it was it's the entertainment values there but the facts are totally 
made up and stuff like that but it was still amusing and fun time to watch so definitely check it out um i'll try to find the trailer for it and link it down below and i think you could actually find this film for free on youtube if i find it i'll link it down below too but um yeah so hopefully uh you check this one out it's pretty fun it's a pretty good entertaining film to check out so especially if you've been stoned before and stuff so yeah but that's what I thought of Reefer Madness. A lot of ridiculousness, a lot of unrealistic scenes, but it's still fun. So definitely check it out. Um, yeah. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram, which is linked down below, where I always post clips of films I'm going to review in the future on my story. So make sure you follow me there to stay in the loop. I usually have the film title and a hashtag somewhere in the video. So make sure, um, so you can see, if, uh, so if you're interested, you can see what I'm watching and, uh, maybe if, you can guess what I'm watching or figure it out that way. Also, I put the subgenre of film in there too, just so in case it's something you're not interested, you're aware. So, yeah, make sure you comment down below your opinions of this film if you've seen it. Let me know what you thought of it. I'd love to hear your opinions of it. And if you have any films at all, any films, any genre, anything like that at all that you want to hear my opinions on, comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And uh, make sure you like this video, share it so more people are aware of it. And always make sure you to subscribe because I got a whole lot more of uh, these taboo subject type films to talk about and uh, that are coming up soon. So yeah, but till the next one, cheers.